Lights, camera, action. Part three, production. There are lots of chances to be creative during the production phase. Filmmaking is all about choices, locations, camera angles, lighting, and action. There are several things to consider. Be on time. It's important to arrive at your location on time and stay on schedule. Be respectful. Always be respectful of people and property. If you move something, make sure you put it back. Safety first. Never put yourself or others at risk while shooting. When shooting an interview, it's ideal to have your subject in a setting that helps tell the story. Walk around the location. The first thing you do is walk around your location to find the best angles. Whenever possible, remove any unsightly objects from your setting. Trash cans definitely need to go. Now let's talk about equipment. Make sure the camera is in good operation. Also make sure that your batteries are charged and you have plenty of spares. No power, no production. The cameras you will likely be using have automatic focus and exposure settings. They will also have automatic white balance, which makes the colors true to the light in the space. Once you have your camera angle, make sure that the lens is clean of dust and fingerprints. No fingerprints. Next, do a test record for picture and audio. Getting good audio could be a challenge. Always bring headphones. Use headphones to monitor your audio. Play back your recordings to make sure the sound is clear, not too loud and not too soft. Microphone placement is key. Microphone placement and ambient sound strongly affect the quality of your audio. Lapel microphones should be placed near the subject's mouth, and the wires should always be hidden. I'm basically checking my cut with a sample of material. If there are sounds in the location that interfere with your audio, you may politely ask if they can be turned off. If they can't be turned off, which is often the case, you may have to move to a quieter location to conduct the interview. Then you can come back to shoot your B-roll in the appropriate setting. We recommend that you shoot with available light. That is any source of light that already exists in the interview setting. Lamps, window light, overhead light. Your goal is to position the subject so that the available light is most flattering to their image. An even quality of light. Not too bright and not too dark. Framing. The camera frame is the filmmaker's window. Headroom. When framing your interview subject, make sure you leave a little space over the top of their head. Too much. Not enough. Just right. The way images are arranged in a frame communicates information in a creative way. Look for frames that have important visual information in the foreground as well as the background. The beginning of the interview is an important moment. Most people are not used to have a camera pointing at them. Once the microphone is placed and the camera is rolling, ask your subject to say their name and spell it. That helps them to relax a little and gives you record of the proper spelling. Also ask them what their title is. If you're going to have their title appear in the program, you may need their help to shorten it. Stay positive. Educational media has a positive atmosphere. It helps the programs if your subjects look happy. Try to get them to smile. You may even ask your subject to smile periodically if you think it'll help them relax. Eyes to lens. Politely ask if they can focus their eye contact directly to the camera lens. A good interviewer talks very little, just enough to get the subject talking. Listen. During your interview, listen carefully to the answers. A good interview is designed to reveal something interesting about a person. You may hear something you want to learn more about. In order to keep your answers lively, you can prompt them with active phrases. Like, I like math because... And ask them to complete the sentence. Sometimes, you'll get a long answer to a question. By identifying one or two key points in their answer, you can help them make their answer more concise. The most important thing is to listen as you conduct the interview. Do multiple takes whenever possible. This allows you to have options once you get to the edit room. Change angles, even slightly, between takes. That allows you to edit between one part of an answer and another. Also listen for visual cues that you can shoot later. Your interview subject will tell you a lot about the visual elements you'll need to cover their sound. Effective educational media has an engaging visual story. The shot. Wide shot. When shooting for coverage, make sure you get a wide shot of the action. That establishes the action and the setting. Medium shot. Then shoot a medium shot of the action. 
that provides more detail of the subject and the action he or she is performing. Close up. Then shoot many close ups of the elements within the action. Find interesting ways to photograph the details and shoot as many close ups as you have time for. Find the best camera angle. Be creative. This is where you can be very creative. This will help you in the editing process. Shooting, Shooting for, for sequence. sequence. A sequence of images has a beginning, middle, and end. Physical action makes good B-roll. You can ask the people you interview to stage action if necessary, and ask them to repeat it several times so you can shoot the same action from different angles. Look for movement, color, and beautiful light in the scenario. When shooting for coverage, it's best to get multiple angles of each sequence. Vary the angles dramatically. Low angles, high angles, side angles. They'll cut together more nicely. Be active when you're shooting. Cameras can pan, tilt, and track. A good camera move has a beginning, middle, and end. When doing a pan, for example, you have a steady frame at the beginning, a smooth pan in the middle, and a steady frame at the end. Rule of thumb. A good rule of thumb is to pick the end frame first. Then turn your body to the first frame so that you unwind smoothly to the end. Smooth moves. Keep it lively. Be active when you're shooting B-roll. You can shoot on a tripod or you can shoot handheld. Either way, be careful to have your camera work be steady. Keep it steady. Nobody likes shaky video. You can repeat camera moves at different speeds several times until you get one you like. Mm, nice shot. Shooting many options is the best thing you can do for the editing process. Keep working until your time's up. That's a wrap. Add to your project goals that you make people glad that they were part of your project. Once you've wrapped up your on-location shooting, you're ready to move on to post-production.